Hi, I'm here for the Heather's interview. Mm -hmm. Right place. Hey, Adeline. Can you, how are you doing today? I'm, I'm really tired from rehearsals, obviously, but I'm doing great. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about your character in Heather's? Mm, so I play Veronica Sawyer, and she is the main character. She, I would describe her as like, hmm, she is that loner girl who doesn't really quite fit in and gets like bullied a lot, and she knows like the hardships of high school. And um, when she's presented with the opportunity of joining like the popular girls, she um, takes that opportunity to find um, protection from the bullying and whatnot. And she's just, she's a really good character. She has um, a strong moral compass, but she just so happens to, um, she ends up in the wrong group of friends, I guess. What was your reaction to finding out you got the part? I was in the car. <laughs> with my parents and um, I, I, got the, um, I got a text from one of my friends saying that congratulations and I was like freaking out because like she was my top pick, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> How long have you been performing on stage? I've been performing on, on stage since um, probably kindergarten. I used to do dance, but in terms of musical theater, I've been doing it since eighth grade. Oh, that's amazing. What's your comfort musical slash play? I would say Into the Woods or A Chorus Line. Both are really good. That's really good. What's something that few people know about your character? Um, I, shoot, one of the um, first things that we're introduced to about her is that she is really good at forgery, and that's her selling point as, like, to join the Heathers. And final question, Adeline, what is your favorite Heather scene? I would say it's the beginning one. The very first scene, the very first song, Beautiful, because you'll see when you watch the show, but at, towards the end of the song, it's like, it's just really amazing, like having all the vocals together and stuff and coming out on stage after. Surprise, I will not mention it because you gotta go watch the show. <laughs> For sure, that's so wholesome, Adeline. Is there another person you'd like for us to interview? Well, there is someone. I think they have like headphones around their neck. You should look for them. Okay, got it. Let's mm -hmm. go check them out. Oh, oh hi. hi. Are you the headphones person? I am the headphones person, <laughs> yeah. Hi, I'm Nova. I'm a junior. Hi, Nova. Can you tell us a little bit about your character? Oh, I play Martha in the show. Um, she's... I mean, I know um, Adelie mentioned that Veronica gets bullied, but really, if we have to think about which one of them is, I guess, more so the laughing stock of the school, it would be Martha. Um, they're childhood best friends. They've known each other for years, obviously. Um, but Veronica was able to make it into the popular clique, whereas Martha never was. And so my character, um, she's kind of trying to grapple with the fact that her friend has left her. And... Yeah, it's a fun character arc to have. Well, what inspired you to start acting? Oh, uh, when I was a kid, I used to do dance. Um, and what would happen is one of my friends actually wanted to do theater, but she didn't want to be alone, so my parents signed me up for theater with her. And regardless of the fact that she didn't end up continuing, I did, and I've been here ever since. It's been 12 years now, so yeah. That's so great. Oh, my God. What was the most difficult part about preparing for the play? Oh, um, I want to say it would be trying to really figure out, like, what makes the character work. Because for her, um, it's very interesting because I have to create this really in-depth emotional art because she has this whole journey from being, like, the weak kid who everyone picks on to... I mean, still getting picked on, but, like, she's found strength within herself. And so it's kind of how did she get there and, like, what events led her to that place. What's your favorite song from Heather's? Oh, that's a hard one. Wow. Um, I've always loved uh, Dead Girl Walking Reprise because um, it feels really, like, it's not the finale, but it feels, like, final. Um, especially like Veronica finally coming to the real, uh, realization that, you know, JD is toxic and then her taking action about it, like definitive action. It's 
really a great song. It, I mean, it reprises the original Dead Girl Walking, which has an amazing tune, um, but it also has, like, bits of, like, cheerleaders from, you know, they're doing the, hey, yo, Westerberg, um, and it's just kind of, like, this really great culmination of, like, all of the other songs in the musical, which I love. It's great. That's so amazing. What's a song that's been on repeat for you? Oh, other than the Heather soundtrack? Yes. Um, oh, that's a tough one. Wait, let me check. Um, sorry, I need to like, pull this up. Uh, okay, um, there's a song from the musical Ride the Cyclone called The Ballad of Jane Doe, which I absolutely love. It's this... Um, more operatic piece despite being in a musical it's about a girl who lost her head in a roller coaster accident and she d doesn't remember who she is and doesn't have a sense of identity and so it's really this kind of song of like longing for like the knowledge of who you are and it's really powerful the vocals are insanely difficult i've been trying to learn this song and i had to like com like figure out how to get up into like a totally different octave than i've ever gone into before it's it's incredible. That sounds incredible. What's a random fact about you? Oh, um, I like to sew. I actually made my own homecoming dress in my sophomore year. Oh, so you like sewing? Yeah. Very nice. Well, that was our question. Th those were our questions for you, Nova. Is there another person you'd like for us to yes. interview? Yes, and you'll come right through this door here. We have the lovely Milan. Oh, hey guys, how's it going? Hey Milan, how are you? Good, how are you? Oh, we're doing amazing because you're here. <laughs> <laughs> so, can you tell us a little bit about your character? Yes, so JD um, is quite, he's a very enigmatic and interesting character. I don't want to give too much away because that kind of like gives away the entire plot. But um, he's very complex in that um, he has a lot of trauma in terms of his past and his background. And that has played a huge integral role in shaping who he is and fundamentally what he does in much of the show and how he acts. What is the most challenging part of acting for you? Well, especially in a musical, it's probably the singing part. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't sing very well. <laughs> I, can, I can proudly admit that. But... Um, <laughs> It's been a process in terms of working on um, musically how to hit those notes, those really high and powerful notes, but at the same time keeping in character and making sure that you're following those rules of acting and making sure that you're still remaining within JD and not spilling over into me, right? Mm -hmm, definitely, <laughs> keeping character. Well, why did you choose Heathers? Well, Heathers is a very interesting musical in that um, it serves to send a powerful message in regards to society and school, especially high school, and how we as students interact with one another and how we see each other. And so as part of that, um, I felt particularly strongly in regards to that message, and I guess that's really why I decided to be a part of Heather. What's your favorite scene from Heather's? My favorite scene? Mm. Do you want me to like go into specific detail? We'd or? love to hear your specific detail. Okay, I, I don't want to give away too much, but um, it's a specific song called Lifeboat. And um, one of the Heathers sings this song, and um, it's a particularly emotional moment in the play. And I guess it's at a point where, as the audience, we realize a lot of things about the characters and how complex these individuals are. So that's probably one of my favorite moments in the play. What's your favorite thing about the cast? My favorite thing about the cast? Um, just their energy. Like, it's always so, so fun to be with these people and work with them for hours and hours, for days on end. And honestly, I could not ask for a better cast to work with. Well, thank you, Simon, so much for your time, Milan. Is there another person you'd like for us to interview? Mm, well, there is one person. Let me introduce you to her. This is our wonderful, amazing, talented, Heather. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Are you the famous Zoe? Famous? Yeah, I am I'm Zoe. <laughs> well, Zoe, can you tell us a little bit about your character? So I play Heather Chandler. She's the red character on the poster, and I'd say 
She's not the nicest person. <laughs> she's very, I would describe, just describe her as Regina George, and she's not. She's really fun to play. Sounds fun. What is your favorite musical or play? Oh gosh, I've been in musical theater for since I was little, like five. So I have a lot of favorites, but I'd say my favorite of all time is Wicked. It was my first musical I've ever watched. It was just what got me into theater because the music, the visuals, the costumes, it's just everything is so epic about that play and I love it so much. That sounds magical, Zoe. How did you begin acting? Um. Well, first I didn't start with acting. I actually started with dancing first. And I did a bunch of dance. I did competitive dance for a long time. And then when I was around five or six, I started um, with my first musical. I was, I was in the, the musical Annie. And I was in kindergarten and I got to play Molly. Wow, what is your favorite thing about Heathers? Um, I'd like to say that my favorite thing is it's very funny. I think the script is hilarious. I think it has a really deep meaning to it, but it talks about very difficult to topics to talk about. For sure. But I feel like it takes a good perspective on it because it makes the topics you hear to talk about, like um, gun violence, depression, suicide. Mm -hmm. What is your favorite thing about your character? Um, I think she's very headstrong, even though she's not the nicest about it. I think she has a really strong opinion, and whenever she like has an opinion and she needs to say what she has on her mind, she says it, and it's just, she's very strong and powerful. She's a girl boss, for sure. For sure. <laughs> well, those were our questions for you, Zoe. Is Thank there an so other much. person of the cast that you'd like us to meet? Um, you could talk to our stage manager. He's in here. His name's Dion Lee. Okay. Hi, is this Dion? Yeah. Well, hey Dion. Um, so first question, who can come watch Heathers? Basically anyone can. I think kids are allowed to come as well. Of course, there is a bit of a disclaimer. Um, kids can come, but just bring your parents. Um, serious topics are being brought up, so I think it's very important that we talk about it and make sure that like everyone's voices are being heard as well. Mm -hmm. Well, what is your role as stage manager? Um, well, practically my role is just being behind the stage and just making sure everything runs well. Like, all those cogs and, like, gears that you see that, are, that you, you know, sort of don't see. Um, I make sure all of it goes smoothly and as according to plan. Those light transitions uh, bring props on and off the stage. Um, queuing sound as well. All that is very vital to this production, and I just want to make sure that it just all goes smooth sailing from here. Okay. Are there any stressful moments when you're facilitating uh, communication within the cast? Um, I think there's actually a lot of stress behind it all. There's usually not much that goes on, though, um, besides um, whenever we're, we are backstage. Uh, I have to make sure that everyone's quiet as to, you know, and I make sure the audience hears us and make sure that this production is being kept professional as well, since we have a lot of people that tend to come. Um, are there any memorable scenes or favorite moments you have when putting this together? Um, well, I can't exactly give away any important scenes, but um, I, just sort of lo I just sort of love the dynamic between the lawn and Adeline's character. They sort of, what is it, clash, but then again, they also mix so well. And it's just so interesting to see. Mm -hmm. For sure. Um, what was your biggest challenge when it came to uh, Heathers? Um, I guess definitely, like, the building process, as well as, like, um, having to learn my own cues. Uh, and by that, I mean... I have to, what is it, I sort of sit stage right and I manage practically everything that needs to like go on and off uh, and learning those, t like all those cues just takes a while and in the end it just feels like sort of satisfactory once like we're finished. Mm -hmm. For sure. 
Well, those were our questions for you. Mm -hmm. um, thank you so much for your time. Yeah, of course. And it was a wonderful experience spending the time with you and the Heathers cast. Of course, it was wonderful for me as well. Thank you. Dear Diary, why, why do they hate me? Why don't I find